There's nothing more frustrating than wanting to fly your quadcopter, flipping that arm switch, and nothing happens. When Betaflight refuses to arm, it actually tells you the exact reason why it's refusing to arm. Take a look. Over here on the right side of the setup tab, there's a list of arming disable flags, and every single one of these flags represents a reason why Betaflight is refusing to arm. For some reason, Betaflight doesn't think it is safe to go fly right now. And if you want to fly your quad, you got to clear these conditions and then you'll be able to go fly. Now, this video is actually part of a playlist with an entry to help you troubleshoot each of the arming disable flags. And the one we're going to look at today is RPM filter. But if you've got any of the other ones, there's a list, a link to the playlist down in the video description, and hopefully we can clear them all up. Let's talk about RPM filter. Here in the configuration tab, we've got the option to turn on bi-directional D-shot. Let's take a minute and just explain what bi-directional D-shot is, or back up a step, what's D-shot? D-shot is a protocol that's used by the flight controller to tell the ESC how fast it wants the motor to spin. Do you want the motor at idle? Do you want it at full throttle? Do you want it anywhere in between? And if you turn on bi-directional D-shot, the ESC will reply to each motor command with the RPM of the motor. S that might be a little confusing. Didn't the flight controller just tell the ESC how fast it wants the motor to be spinning? Shouldn't it already know the RPM of the motor? And the answer to that is no. Think about it like the accelerator pedal in your car. You press the accelerator pedal down to a certain point when you want the car to go faster or slower, but you don't know the actual RPM that the motors or the wheels are spinning at. You have to look at the tachometer and the, and the motor says to you, I'm spinning at 2000 RPM, 3000, 8000, however many RPM, but you just push the accelerator pedal down to a certain point when you want the car to go faster or slower. So D-shot shot commands mean that the flight controller tells the ESC how fast it wants the motor to go. And then just like the tachometer in your car, the ESC says back to the flight controller, how many RPM the motor is spinning at. Who cares? I mean, the motor's just, the, who cares how fast the engine in your car is going? You're just going as fast as you want to be going and just let all that stuff take care of itself. The answer is over in the PID tuning tab and in the filter settings, there's a setting here, gyro RPM filter. And um, you know what? It's beyond the scope of this video, but suffice it to say, you very, very much want the gyro RPM filter turned on, if at all possible. And the gyro RPM filter needs to know the motor RPM in order to work. I've got a whole nother video about what the gyro RPM filter is and how to set it up. I'll put a link to that down in the video description. You can check that out when you're done here. So to recap, you want the gyro RPM filter. In order to have the RPM filter, you need bi-directional D-shot. And in order for bi-directional D-shot to work, the ESC has to report the motor RPM back to the flight controller. And that brings us back to the RPM filter flag. What the RPM filter flag means is that the RPM filter option is enabled, but the flight controller is not seeing any RPM data from the ESC. Since RPM filter requires that RPM data, the flight controller will not let you fly when that data is, is not present. So what could cause this? The number one thing to cause this is that you have enabled bi-directional D-shot and you have enabled RPM filter, but your ESC firmware doesn't support that function. In order to use bi-directional D-shot, you need to have BLHeli 32 version 32.7 or newer, or you need to have BLHeli S as installed by the JESC firmware. JESC is a, BL Heli S didn't support bi-directional D-shot at first. Uh, a guy named Joe Lucid made his own version of BL Heli S called JESC, and you can, that makes it work. You can also have BL Heli S version 16.71 or newer, or you could have a firmware on there called Jazz Maverick. But for reasons I'm not gonna get into in this video, I would say that you, you I would recommend JESC. If you have BLHeli S, if you have BLHeli 32, it's supported natively in version 32.7 or newer. So the number one thing to cause you to see RPM filter is that you didn't update your ESC to a firmware that actually supports this function. So the answer is flash your ESC to a supported firmware or go into the configuration tab and just 
disable bidirectional D-shot. Maybe you just aren't going to fly without this feature and it'll probably be okay. It'd be better if you had it, but it'll be okay. And that'll immediately, if I save and reboot, clear up this flag. What else could cause the RPM filter flag to be? I know for a fact my ESC has a supported firmware. Well, maybe the ESC, okay, I'm exaggerating here. This is just a flight controller that I have plugged in on the desk. Maybe the ESC isn't actually plugged in. When you plug in your flight controller to USB, but you don't plug in a battery, like because you're just configuring it like I am now, the ESC won't power up and you'll have the RPM filter flag. So you may just need to plug in your battery and then that'll go away. Now, those are the most common things that could result in you getting the RPM filter flag and they're relatively easy to solve. The final thing that can cause RPM filter is a little bit harder to track down. There may be something that is causing the ESC communication to get like corrupted or messed up and causing the ESC to not be able to talk to the flight controller. It, there may be damage to your physical motor wires. There may be damage to an ESC itself. These are a little harder to track down. I've even seen cases, and I don't know why this is, but we plug in the quadcopter, it says RPM filter, and then you just power cycle it and RPM filter goes away. So if you're randomly getting RPM filter for no apparent reason and everything should be working, in fact, I just flew a pack and everything was working and now suddenly RPM filter, just try power cycling the quad and see if that fixes it. Sometimes it will. That's about all I got to say about RPM filter. And hopefully now if you're getting that status flag, you know what to do in order to clear it up. And if you've got any other status flags, I have a whole playlist with one entry in the playlist for each of the status flags, explaining what it is, why it's happening and how to clear it. Actually, they've added some new ones. I've gotten a little behind. I was caught up and now there are a few more I got to make and that's why I'm making this video. There's a link to that playlist down in the video description or in the card at the end of this video if you prefer. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. Happy flying. Do you see this baby? Isn't he cute? Hit the subscribe button. Join my Patreon. Use my affiliate links. Or just keep watching videos. That's better than nothing. Cool, 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 cool. Subscribe to my daddy. <laughs>